I think one of the uh, biggest advantages I've had is uh, I've had almost perfect freedom to decide how to look for mines and uh, when all is said and done, my career demonstrates that uh, I'm very good at being wrong. I think my uh, primary objective was the lure of the chase. Three out of a thousand good-looking prospects become mines. That's one out of 333. It's a big number. You visit and look at and study a mineral prospect. You think, well, this, is, this really looks pretty good. Then you think, uh, well, gosh, uh, I'll have to look at 500 of these to find a new mine. <laughs> I think it's a mad scientist that discovers a new blockbuster drug, and he does this together with the pill factory. The philosophy and the strategy and the rules and regulations in the pill factory are all the directions of the business schools that teach you how to efficiently do business and there's a hierarchy that's carefully defined and the whole uh, climate is designed around don't ever make any mistakes and keep your nose clean and, and eventually uh, you might become president of the pill factory. But the profile of the mad scientist is totally different. He would like to win a Nobel Prize and uh, write articles, and uh, he couldn't care less about uh, all the rules and regulations. And the way he finds a new drug is by ignoring the existing dogma and uh, uh, having new ideas and, uh, and making lots of mistakes. And the same thing happens in mining companies. On my side, it doesn't really bother me at all drawing. Uh, <laughs> drilling dusters? Drawing dusters. <laughs> the greatest things that have ever happened to me are these uh, mine discoveries. It, it's uh, really like uh, finding a Spanish treasure ship in the Caribbean. <laughs>